Thank you for your interest in AutoAgents.co.za, part of the DealMaker Network. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look today at the members area of the website. So once you've logged in, which I've already done here, you're going to be taken to the dealer listings. And you're going to see the dealer listings here. And if I scroll down through this list, I'm going to see the various vehicles that are listed. Now if I want to get more detail on one of these items, all I need to do is click on the listing and it will take me to the view vehicle details where I can get more information on the year, the mileage, the service history, etc. So all of that is available to me. And if I wanted to enter an offer, I'd be able to enter an offer right here. I'm going to go ahead and close the window by clicking on the little X here. And then I'm going to take a look at the public offerings. Now the public offerings are vehicles that private sellers have listed to the public on the front end of the site. These private sellers have then also indicated that they are willing to sell to a trader at a lower listing price than on the public website. And I can list you, scroll through this list as well and I could choose one of these vehicles if I wanted to get more details. In this case you'll see that there are more pictures listed here as well. So we're able to contact these sellers. I'm going to go ahead and close this screen as well. The other piece of the back end that I want to show you here is actually capturing a vehicle. So if we go ahead and click on capture vehicle, that will take us to the capture vehicle page where we can start working on creating our own listing. So I'm going to go ahead and capture a new vehicle and I'm going to start filling this in. I'm going to go ahead and choose that this is a car so I will leave that, but you could choose a bike, commercial or leisure. You then can choose a make and I'm just going to go ahead and choose one of the items from the list here. And then I can go ahead and choose the color. I'm going to choose the transmission, the service history, the general condition, the vehicle location. So is this physically in stock? Is it ready to be traded in or is it available to buy? I'm going to go ahead and say that this is physical in stock. I then can come over here and I can choose the year. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a year on this. Then I can go through and go ahead and choose the various extras that are available. And I'm just going to check a couple of these. And then I'm going to scroll down. And then is this a clean vehicle? And I'm going to go ahead and check that. And you'd go ahead and see all the information, anything on the previous and the quality. So you can go ahead and fill out all of this information. Make sure that this is as complete as possible. Once you're done with that, go ahead and proceed to the next step. Once I've finished that first step, it's going to take me to the Capture Vehicle Step 2 where I can upload vehicle photos. So I can hit, click here to upload a new photo. And it gives me the information on here. So I'm going to click here to upload the photo. And now I can choose where I want to go to get get this photo. So I'll navigate to where I know I have a picture of a vehicle. And I'll choose my vehicle picture and I'll go ahead and upload that. And I'll go ahead and load that in. Now once that photo is in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my mouse over top of the vehicle so that I match up where that's going to, to show. Let's me look at see how that's going to look. When I have it the way I want it, I'll go ahead and click on Save Photo, and I'll go ahead and save that. And there's my photo. I'm going to go ahead and finish capturing the vehicle. And it'll automatically take me over to the Stock Manager. And when I'm in the Stock Manager, it now shows my stock including the vehicle that I just added here. Now what I'm able to do if I move over here to the right on this I could go ahead and place this on auction. I could place it on a dealer listing. I would have the bill ability to place it on autoagents.co.za or I could actually delete this off of here. Keep in mind that if a vehicle is placed on auction they're physically in stock. Vehicles cannot be auctioned on behalf of the owner. Vehicles on auction cannot be listed on any other location on the system. On the dealer listings, the public does not see these. A guide price is entered and other dealers on the network can enter offers on the system or they can contact the seller to discuss the price. Vehicles that you do offer to, to the dealers 
can be offered to the public at the same time at a higher retail price. By clicking on the third icon, a vehicle is listed on the public front end of autoagents.co.za where potential retail buyers can view them in detail with photos and everything else. Interested parties can contact the seller through the website or they can use the contact information provided. The other area that you may want to check out are the vehicle requests. When you're looking at the vehicle request, this will show you a list of vehicles that are requested by other dealers on the back end of the site, as well as private buyers from the public part of the website. A couple other items to point out here. One is my, my vehicles on auction. That will list those items that you have currently on auction. And then if you want to see vehicles on auction, you could list, check those out on that listing as well. The last two areas to take a look at is the admin functions. In here is where you would have the ability to change your password or update your account information. And then you also have your preferences here where you can go through here and assign your preferences with the way that you're working on the site. So that is the information on autoagents.co.za for the members area. We hope that you found this informative and that this will help you out getting your vehicles listed and making the purchases that you need.